solve three most frequently asked SQL question uh, into the data analyst and the BI specialist interview. Uh, even if you are preparing for the SQL interview, this video is going to be very very useful for you. So in this video, I am going to solve three most important questions. The first one is like uh, find out the highest salary from the each department. Let's say you have the employee table with the employee name, ID, department name and salary and you have to find out the highest salary for each department second task is like second highest salary for each department and the third task is to get the all salaries in in form of comma separated values department wise so this output will look like this each salary is uh, separated by a comma in the single column so let's get started for this video so i do have the employee table already loaded into my sql workbench so let me show you the table yeah so we have this table employee id employee name department name and the salary so let's get started with the first task we want the highest salary for each department so when we say the highest salary it is nothing but the maximum salary for the each department so the query will be like this select department name max salary from employee group by department name so this is a very simple query and if you run this query you will see the highest salary for the each department right so this is how you get the highest salary for the each department now our second task is a little bit complicated but tricky one so let's get started on this so to before solving this query <coughs> you should know how the inner query works so we need to find out the second highest salary so the salary which is less than the maximum salary that that is our target records okay so we will first find out the maximum salary so we already have a query for maximum salary so we will simply copy and paste it over here and uh, let's give the alias to this e.2 e2 so it will be easy for us e2 dot department name and e2 dot salary okay so when we run this we we will get the uh, highest salary across the entire table okay now what we have to do we will select the salary which is less than this salary let's say select select the e1 dot department name e1 dot salary from employee e1 where e1 dot salary is less than this one okay so here we again have to add the a uh, group by condition because we want it uh, department wise but at the same hand we have to check the condition where the department from the e1 table is supposed to be equal to department from the e2 table so that we will get exact salaries for each department so we will see e1 dot department name is equal to uh, e2 dot department name okay and we we'll close this bracket over here and we will do the group by because we need a, a group by each department department name okay group by e1 dot department name okay so when we use the group by clause over here it is expected that we should use some aggregated function because we need a second highest salary so this salary supposed to be maximum salary from this one so we will write the uh, max 
aggregated function over here so it will be easy for one okay okay so see what is wrong so yeah we have to put the where condition over here where e1 dot department name is equal to e2 dot so let's run this okay so unknown name department name in the field okay so we don't need the department name over here now run this query we should get some output let's see what is wrong okay so here supposed to be e1 dot department name is equal to e2 dot department name so let's run this one again get error e1 dot department name okay yeah here we go so we got the output of the second has salary for the each department and similarly if you want to calculate a third highest salary you have to again put this entire query into the inner query and again apply the same statement like find out the max salary where the salary is less than this output so you will get the third highest salary uh, you can add that query into the comment section so that others can refer and it will be more more useful now the third one is get comma separated salaries department wise so this is a tricky one we need a comma separated salary for each department right so we have the function called the group by concat and through that function you can achieve the output let me show you the output again so this is the output we want so let's get started on this select department name group concat in bracket salary from employee and group by department name simple query and you get the answer okay so let me correct the department name okay and here we go so this is the expected output yeah so these three questions i had recently attended one interview and i found this is useful if i can share these questions with you so hope this you found this video useful hit the thumbs up button and share your thoughts and additional logic if you have to solve the same question in another way you can mention it into the comment section i will like it and see you in the next video and do let me know if you have any queries on this thank you